Hi, welcome to Math as a Language. Today we're going to take a look at simplifying algebraic expressions. Simplifying algebraic expressions. Now, just like English uh, expressions, if you will, it may be helpful before we try simplifying these expressions that we uh, uh, just as in English we learn the parts of speech, more math being a language, maybe we should take a look at the parts of an algebraic expression before we uh, go much uh, further into trying to simplify them. Uh, let's, let's take a look at an expression. As we said before in earlier videos, these expressions can either be just made up arbitrarily, something like 2x plus 4, or uh, an expression may in fact uh, represent some real world experience or some real world a concept, uh, for example, perhaps uh, your your friend is five years older than you are, so this would be an expression that would represent something like this. But at any rate, both these guys are algebraic expressions. Again, whether they're just made up or whether or not they are some representation of some real world event. Uh, so before we uh, let's let's take a look at some other expressions and let's find learn their parts. Let's make up another one on our own here. Let's go with a two x uh, plus four y. Uh, minus 3. Okay. Rather nice algebraic expression. So, in this case, what we're going to take a look at, the first thing we want to, uh, a really important uh, point that we have to make, and we've, we, we've alluded to it earlier, but it's absolutely essential at this point that we recognize that this, of course, this x is a variable. We will not be using uh, x in algebra. We very rarely do use x in algebra as a multiplication symbol. And part of the reason has to do with this. When you're looking for an algebraic expression, what you're, what you're interested in recognizing in order to, uh, one of the parts, one of the first things you want to know about an algebraic expression is how many terms it has. And when you're talking about the terms of an algebraic expression, what you're looking for are products. So in this case, since this 2 this is right in front of this x, that 2, this is a product. These two, these two values are being multiplied. Similarly, this y and the 4 is right in front of the y, and that's a product. So they are being multiplied. And we all will know, uh, well, we should know, or at some point there's a property or rule that has to do with the multiplicative property of 1, which means that any number can always be multiplied by 1. So if you want to strictly look at this as a product, this could be a product as well. So in terms of a product, you have two things being multiplied here, two things being multiplied here, and two things being multiplied here. And for that reason, in this algebra expression, we would have one, two, three terms. So we have three terms, and the terms, each of the terms is a product. So in, when you're looking for the terms of an algebraic expression, you're looking for, essentially, you're looking for the products. So each term represents a product. So, uh, so that's the first thing we'd like to recognize in terms of the parts of an algebraic expression is the concept of a term. All right. Now, and, and another way of looking at it, uh, uh, what, another way of looking at terms is that one thing that you can do also, either you can count the terms or you can recognize that the terms are separated by sums and differences. So this term is being added to the second term and that's being subtracted uh, by uh, the three is being subtracted from that sum, if you will. So each of these terms, each of these three terms are separated with a plus symbol or a minus sign, plus or minus sign. So that's another way of counting the terms. Uh, I think we all know, and we'll color code this as well, that the x, as we said before, no longer will this x be uh, used for multiplication. So the x and the y, of course, those are our variables. So we had two variables here, two variables. two variables and the variables in this case are the x and the y and last the last uh, and well let's do two other things actually well the next thing that we want to talk about are the, the values that are in front here let's go ahead and make this a different color let's make these guys um, this is a good distinctive color this two alright the two the four and the two and the four the two and the four those are referred to as coefficients. So we have two coefficients. And the coefficients are the 2 and the 4. So the coefficients are the 2, 
that's in front of the x and the 4 that's sitting in front of the y, the variable y. So the, the, the coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. And last but not least and very important, we have of course this 3 that's sitting at the end by all by itself. That 3 also has a, a special name in this particular case. This 3 that's sitting at the end there, that 3 is a constant. So we have one constant and the constant in this particular case is the 3. All right. So these are the parts of the algebraic expressions that we want to come to learn and we'll practice another one shortly. We had three terms separated by the plus and minus signs. They are products, if you will. We have our two variables, the x and the y are the variables, x and y. We have our two coefficients. The coefficients are sitting in front of the variables and of course we have the one constant at the end. All right. So let's take a look at one other and then perhaps we we'll, may have enough time to simplify uh, or we may, I think what we'll do is we'll leave that for our next video. But let's just take a look at one more algebraic expression and then we'll uh, look at the parts. All right. Let's go with a 2x plus 4yz minus 6 plus 5t. All right, that's a nice one. Okay, so we have this algebraic expression, whether it represents something or not. It's not uh, what we're focusing on at this point. We just want to look at the names of the various elements of this algebraic expression. All right, so let's go. Let's go ahead and color code these. Let's start first. First of all, let's start with the variables, since we a nice popular concept that we are quite familiar with. Our variables again. We have our x. We have y and z and t. So we have four, four variables here. x, y, z, and t are our variables. Next we're going to look at our coefficients. Alright, i, e, n, t. So our coefficients, who are the coefficients? The coefficients are the values sitting in front of the variables. That's why we have the variables listed first. And so this 2 would be a coefficient. 4 is a coefficient and the 5 is a coefficient. So we have three coefficients in this expression. Uh, let's see, next we'll, let's look at uh, <clears throat> uh, terms. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, name our terms. So how many terms do we have here? How many terms are in this expression? Now again, we have two ways of looking at it. We can just look at the product. So this, these two guys are being multiplied. That's a product. What, this 4 is being multiplied by the z, which is being multiplied by the by the y and by multiplied by the z, so that's a product, that's 2. 6 is being multiplied by 1, don't forget that there's always a 1 there, that's a product, and 5 times t, so in this case we have 4 terms. And another uh, way of looking at it, and we've talked about this uh, earlier, just a minute ago in fact, we can look at the sums and differences, so that's a sum, there's a difference, and there's a sum, another sum, so notice again that your terms are separated by these plus and minus signs, so either way you'll have 4 terms. Terms. Okay, let's take a look at our constant. And our constant would be the numerical values that are not sitting in front of a variable. And so in this particular case, the negative 6, that negative 6 is our constant. All right. All right. So uh, we'll save, uh, we'll stop here and we'll talk about, we'll, in our next video, we'll actually uh, do a few of these uh, algebraic expressions and uh, we'll take a look at how to combine them. And again, knowing the parts of the algebraic expressions and the names that are given to those parts would be very helpful in terms of putting together and simplifying our algebraic expressions, but we'll do that in our next video. All right. Well, thanks for visiting and take care. I hope you're having a great year and we'll see you in the next video.